Welcome to Globe 10.0. I'm Chad Finn, joined by Globe Assistant Sports Editor Scott Thurston. Well, the Patriots have a new offensive coordinator this year, but he's not really new. Josh McDaniels uh, helmed the record-setting 2007 group, left, got his own head coaching job in Denver, yada, yada, yada. He's back. Do you see any difference between what Bill O'Brien, his successor, did and what he's doing now? Here's the key, I think, with Josh. Commitment to the run. You know, Josh had Corey Dillon here, as you said, in that record-setting 2007 season. In Denver, he had Willis McGahee. In St. Louis, he had Steven Jackson. I think with Steven Ridley, they make a commitment to the run in, the, in combination with that two tight end set, three tight ends at times, there's going to be a balanced attack. I think with Bill O'Brien, the run didn't work. You know, he had Brady throw it 45 times, 47 times. I don't think Josh is going to do that. It's a much different personnel group that he, ha he has here now than when he left. Uh, the two tight ends were Daniel Graham and Ben Watson, who aren't exactly Gronk and Hernandez in terms of uh, being able to catch the football and do various different things within the offense. I'm curious whether he utilizes them the same way Bill O'Brien did because they developed on his watch. You also have Brandon Lloyd, who resuscitated his career in Denver. He was a very talented receiver who was a journeyman, essentially. Uh, he'd complain about catches and right. uh, just kind of wore out his welcome in a few spots, but he's been in Denver with McDaniels, he went to St. Louis with him, and he's thrived. He's going to thrive here with him too. But you have all of these weapons. I'm really interested to see how the distribution works out and who to, who gets the ball when. I think you're going to see an increased role for Brandon Lloyd uh, off of yesterday. We know Hernandez and Gronkowski are the two focal points now. That's clear. Uh, just the way they run, that this system is going to is going to evolve. I think the guy who may be on the outside looking in now, hard to believe, is Wes Welker. Right. You know, the, the go-to guy who would be targeted 14, 15 times a game, five targets yesterday, three receptions. Now, whether they're just going to lull teams with Wes Welker because uh, the, there's so much attention to the outside into Hernandez and Gronk, we'll see. But so many weapons. Yeah, it was a heck of a, uh, you know the offense is good when on your first game of the season, your 122 catch receiver is your fourth option. Don't buy the conspiracy theories that Welker's contract is the reason he's not getting the ball. He's going to get the ball. He's going to do his damage, and so are all the rest of these guys. Uh, Josh McDaniels may do some things differently than O'Brien, but the results are going to be the same.